In order to administer a board to complete a project, the most important aspect to each step that's added would be the due date. For example, if we were to add a step to this task list, we would write in the step, and then we would need to add to the card by double-clicking it, and then we would add a due date to the card. Once we set our due date, we can save the card, and then we can close the card back. Now that card will join all of the other tasks in the list. Every task or team that's set up should include some kind of due date and should include some kind of action step. Now, in order to manage these dates, Trello currently does not have a system where you can pin one card to the top. However, it does have a system of sorting. So for example, we can go to this rightmost corner of a particular list. We can then sort this card list by due date. And what happens is that the list will then appear in due date order. And then when the team administrator and or the team member opens up their particular list, they will see the list in date order also. And we can do this with any of the lists in our board. As long as there is a due date, we can then go to the right hand corner. We can then click sort by due date. And then this list will be ordered according to the due dates set by the person who created the card. And you'll see that mirrored in the workspace of our administrator and our team. We can also sort and search according to due date. For example, if we go into our search and we write in the word DUE and we put a colon and we place the number 14, what we'll have is all of the tasks that are going to be due in the next 14 days. We can then save the search, give the search a name, then save the search. Then, if we click the link that goes back to our saved searches, you'll notice that as soon as we have our cursor in the search box, we have available to us this search that will always go and look for all of the tasks that are going to be due in the next 14 days. Now, this is one other way that you can make relevant information more accessible to your team. Now, there are other searches that you can actually save if you place your cursor inside of the search box and you click learn more, you'll see that there are other searches that you can undertake in your board and then save the searches according to the parameters. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.